Hello there, the Fabled Oil Puna here. I'm ready to hunt another more. Another more? A couple of more Giga. Giganoxi, baleful kind. Baleful Giganoxi. In the Strange Breed quest, event quest, with a longsword weapon class. And once again, the Split. The Splethioth. No, the Plesioth Splasher as the weapon of choice. And like with the bow, I have managed to gem in the air plugs, but this time we're using the slot in the weapon. Basically, if I have a slot in the weapon, it's much um, a much more better option since I can actually upgrade the water attack to a plus two level. So these are two, the two main skills I'm going to be using for the long sword: oxygen and stamina. Well, oxygen absolutely no use, and stamina some use, not too much. Items pretty much the same. I am bringing bombs just to try to take away some of the health of at least the first Giganox make the kill quicker overall. Now I haven't looked to have weapons that come with the yeah the flash bolt flash bolt flash bolt diploma. Uh, the first one is a long sword, a rising soul, but that's not available until I hunt a Zinoga or Jinoga as you prefer. And the other one it's quite a nice hunting horn that I can see here, the voltage verve. If you see the image, it's a flashy one. What are these new things using? are called uh, these piano guitars. They have a name that I can't quite remember. Is it Verve? Is it really that? No, it can't be that. It's a nice uh, few stats. Focus is more on the elemental side, but and less on the raw. It should be nice to use against uh, Thunder Week what monsters. But so far, we're going to continue with our current event quest, which is a strange breed. As usual with the online event quests, even if you're not doing them online, but rather just the port solo offline, they don't get marked as completed. Not sure why they don't. I mean, is it really that hard to have them marked? Not sure what to think. I do have everything. I have eating. I don't have polish yet. But I don't think I'll need to worry too much about it. That's a decent amount of sharpness. Starts with blue, so it would be nice to keep it at blue, but that's not going to mean an option. So just focus on the... damage, essentially, on the green sharpness. Now I'm going to try again to use the smoke ball. I still believe they don't work, I don't quite remember. But I don't really lose anything for trying. Take the most potions. I don't think I need to take uh, rations really. I don't probably don't even need to bring uh, red stones if I just grab them from here. Oh, ah, I could have tried to. One just uh, noticed me late uh, than the other. Anyway, uh, what was I going to do? I don't think I need energy drink, do I? Because there's plenty of rations. I only got two this time around. If I take them all. It should be more than enough to last for the quest. Not sure what I've, what could have done there to avoid attack. Sort of bad angle to avoid in any direction. Roll forward, got hit by the stomach. If I had gone to the side, I probably would have gone to either wing. Now, I need to worry about the shockwave that the no one might spit out because that can travel through my current target. There we go. Apparently this is the second one, the one that starts closer to you. So you need to double tap. Ooh, miss me. A pure miracle, I think. So you need to double tap in order to mark the right one. I faded, but his, the body of the other one was in the way. And they still hit really hard, even with the Blade Master Armor. Counting me. Or trying to. Again, I'm going to focus on one. Hopefully, once I get the kill, I can uh, then easily kill the other one. Nice heal there. Thank you. Cha cha, please. The one that normally heals me there. I think KM can still heal me or just boost me. I'm not sure anymore. 
good chance here because of the hero reflection of his recent combo. Didn't want to play that. Oh, thank you, <laughs> the other Giga Nox. Oh, yeah, the other Giga Nox. The Veil Nox hit me so the sack wouldn't reach me. Ooh, that's a problem when you can't see both monsters at the same time. Blind sided attacks. Okay, just makes it sorted. Please don't shoot at us. It hit us. And I didn't get the final slash out in time. It didn't connect. So it didn't go for the full level 3 charge. Shame. One the one that's further away is just spamming that attack is going to be a nuisance. If it's other attacks, it's not much of a problem, but that long range one is going to interrupt you. Now, apparently, the ball hits another monster before it hits the ground, it doesn't travel. And unfortunately, because I dived to avoid the first attack, I actually dived into the bar of the second one. Confirm target. Okay, the other one is exhausted, so that's good. I can't really get near if they keep focusing me down. I am alone right now, so. Oh, this can be a cart. Depends on the attacks that follows up. Yeah, recovered, but not quite. Oh, man. I hate when you are like, pinned down and cornered like that. Because you can't escape no matter what you do. Uh, did the X sack of one damage the other? Is that even possible? I guess it is. A very hard target. Is it enraged one? Luckily, it didn't bounce into the bar of the attack. Now you can see that the current ones are still yellowish in the tragedy, which means they can paralyze you. I'm guessing it's when you either break the body or the head, or maybe both, that the, it loses its paralysis capabilities, or some of them. Easily avoidable if you're patient enough. Okay, still take advantage of the source of the other one. A bit nasty there, I was bouncing right on the tail when I was trying to hit the body. Apparently I've broken the body, so maybe it cannot longer analyze, or I'm not sure if the head is broken. But again, what I'm saying not capable of paralysis, only for that particular attack, because other attacks it can. At least that's my theory anyway. Yeah, the X-Sack is always going to paralyze by the way. Let's just run away out there. I'm not sure why I'm going head for the head when it's enraged, when we know it fails us. It's a bad idea. Well, I think that bomb's actually what's actually helpful. At least it shook, uh, shook me away from the next attack. I don't like to be cornered, or uh, close to corners, because any false step and <laughs> they corner you. Literally. Against the wall. But luckily, its movement actually pushed me away from the heart of that discharge, or shockwave. Okay, it's exhausted. Let's go for maybe a quick double bomb. Oh, don't interrupt me like that. Bad idea, probably. Yeah. Got hit myself. 
At least you've got a trip. Maybe in those cases you do, if you're going to set them off at close range, that you have, want to have both balls. Basically because only one of them will actually do damage. Well, now if I plant the other one, and I set it off again, if I'm too close, I will take another hit. They missed me by pure miracle by the looks of it. Yeah, I was trying to get a combo out, hopefully interrupt the discharge, or the lead discharge. Can't really hit me the other one. I was kind of protected, in a sense. Uh, faded into the wider tag, and it's going to hit somewhat hard, yeah. So yeah, let's take a mega potion, I suppose. What did we stop them? Did oh no, I probably have used them. I do believe I've stopped them. Then I can get more from the gathering spots if I need to. And I've been deep. Oop, wasted a little bit of a first day there. Didn't expect the healing to come out from Chacha's side. Really? He hit me point blank. I was hoping to go past again. Oh, that happens now and again. And uh, need to sharpen. And unfortunately, one of them enraged. Okay, as long as it doesn't really target me, I promise I need both to lose track of me. Although this distance is good enough as long as they don't go for a long range attack, but they don't. So I can just go for my own thing. Okay, that's a nice bridge. Trip dip. So it allowed me to do some damage. Ooh, another trip. As long as the other one is not attacking us, this is an amazing opening. Didn't get the flinch in time. Well, some damage. Ooh. Always keep an eye on the other one. Yeah, let's we go for another combo then. Getting plenty of trips. Not liking that's pushing me closer. It did. And I was in the middle of the wing, so I was trying to get away, but as it went with the wing, it pushed me closer to the sack and exploded right next to me. A verified target. Okay, they're both next to each other. This could be a nice use of a bomb if they stay still long enough. Although right now I can't set it off because of low health. And they both decide to move away from them. Miraculous miss, I suppose. I need them to move towards me but not actually attack. Because that happens. I'm not sure if the bomb actually reached it anyway. It was a good chance, but no dice. Yeah, right now I kind of need to be evading since uh, they don't have other targets. And one of them is enraged, the other one is uh, not exhausted. But not in riot, re sorry, enraged either. It's probably close to death. Ah, that body shock. It makes it really hard to get close to them. Amber's back, hopefully you can take away some aggro. And they are kind of hitting each other for damage. So I'm guessing they can still arm each other even with uh, electricity attacks or shock thunder type attacks. Ooh, stamina's a bit stamina's a bit low, but I don't really need it that much for this weapon. Uh, 
Oof, both attack coming at the same time. Still managed to evade him. Now, I am taking more damage from Thunder Tax because of the slight weakness to it in this armor set. It's not too bad, but there we go. One hit away. Oh, I tried to roll forward and not sure why it turned. Uh, side roll. Now, this is going to be easier. So, twice is already dead. Down to 10 minute mark. Yeah. At least it's marked well, past the 10 minute mark. Not necessarily around, could be closer to the 15. Going to be carving items. Might as well do so. Guess I I could be using uh, the dust, the power extract, sorry, to get the mega armor skin. Then the uh, mega demon drugs for these quests. Ooh, can I get out there in time? They get in between. Nice flinch. Can we go break? Not quite, but we did get a full discharge. Oh, great, landing on me. Well, I've taken quite a few hits, already used half of my Mega Potions. Not too bad, though. Hey, okay, level 3 Longsword. Charge. Get away from that and get back in. Okay, better stop the combo. Can get out of there. Yeah. And he still reached me all the way around there. Typical. Oh, this is a bad place. Ah, terrain. Arena terrain, also being a bad train at times. If we're in the middle, oh, that would have not hit me. That jump. Basically, it would have jumped over me. It seems there's a wall there, it just uh, jumped and landed right on top of me. This is one thing about the arena and uh, Giganox, therefore, or otherwise. Since there's no ceiling, no rooftop, it cannot do any of its uh, ceiling based attacks. Nice evasion. Not sure if it was required, but it's good. So it is a bit weaker than on the, in the wild, in that sense, since it can't do some of its attacks. We pretty much locked it down to the ground. Oh, shame that didn't connect. So you can continue attacking easily. Not too happy about that forward charge actually hitting you with just the wings, but it happens. Not sure how I evaded that. Well, I take it. No, I'm not going to evade it. It's too difficult to roll past the body for some reason. Even though it's like you can go under it. Oop. I've got to need to tag it. Did that? Sack. Missed me. Barely missed me. I wish there was more time to react to that particular attack. You know, I'll starting your own combos because it doesn't seem to be enough. You're going to get hit no matter what. Hey, sharpen, although it's in rage, so this might have been a bad idea. Luckily it doesn't target us. I'm going to take the last ration. I'm not going to bother with energy drinks anymore for this particular hunt since they give you rations. Oh, there's the other brake. I'm not really keeping track of the track of the brakes. If they come out, that's nice. If not, well, I'm doing damage elsewhere at least. Yeah, 
Okay, let's go for a full combo. I think the belly's not broken yet. He got out of there. Was oh, the tail was broken now, so that wasn't broken. Oh, oh, lucky meals. Managed to barely get out of there. That was a lucky roll. Get to the side, hopefully not get. Oh, I hate that. The wind can actually push you towards the sand. Just because. I don't know. Hitboxes, essentially, that drag you around. I get some hits here, yeah. uh, just the final roundhouse slash or finisher, which is good enough, I suppose. And there's a the kill. Well, we're we'll past the 10, 10, 15 minute mark this time. 31 minutes, 25 seconds remaining. So before the 20th minute mark, guessing compared to the bow, the Ally Victoria, it does like coatings, and I didn't have the full water damage upgrade, as well as that the yeah, the base water elemental damage was a bit lower than this. Oh yeah, there's uh, things I can go here. But basically, yeah. This is the base water damage, which is was the final water damage I could do with the bow, 170. So, and this is a plus two, so right now I have 200 water damage. Yeah, which is yeah, 30 more points per hit. Well, after whatever math there is to do to dish out the damage, but there's are uh, three levels of water damage additional compared to the last hunt. So that was a bit quicker around five minutes quicker. Approximately. Rewards. Well, from the breaks we got hides of all types. Well, not of all types. Galore. Hides galore. Although I don't really need more. We've got over a stack now, so probably going to sell the extras. Oh, got both a double diploma this time around. This always a guaranteed one and a possibility of an extra. So, that's nice. Thunder sacks. I'm keeping Pinder Hides for some reason. Reason. I think I'm going to sell the last one. Rock Claws. Hard Armor Spears. Those are nice. That's right, Jaws. And I think I'll sell the rest. Do I need a Husk S? So I got seven loaded. No, I guess not. Let's see, Talisman. Do they guarantee a Talisman? Oh, this is not too bad. Sea Thin and Precision. This could be good for a heavy bow gun. They have a slower seething time, and if they have deviation, I can reduce it with that precision. So it's not too bad, actually, that combo. It would be nice to, uh, to have a better point in it, a total of 10, but it's good enough. So it doesn't mean the favourite Harpooner hunting two Bearful Giginoxi in the Estranged Breed event quest for the Longsword Button Class and the Plesioth Splasher as the weapon of choice. Hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time and good hunting.